In the following screencast, I'll show you how you can leverage Apple Classroom to be able to share and send materials as well as lock iPads in your classroom. So I can either go ahead and search for Apple Classroom, but in this case I can see this is on my uh, iPad desktop. Um, now that I've logged in on my iPad, um, in this case I've logged in as David Burton, I can see that I have a class set up on my behalf for David Burton. I'm going to go ahead and open up those 21 students. Uh, four of those students have already logged into uh, their shared iPad. We can see Alden, Alex, Anya, and then we can see Ethan uh, has come online as well. We're waiting for George to come online, and George is opening up his iPad as we speak. And once he's entered in his passcode, we'll see uh, George um, come online as well. Um, it will provide a status indicator, so under George we'll see that he is logging in right now. And with Ethan we can see that the display is off and he's in the lock screen. He's gone ahead and opened it up. And the same thing with Anya as well. She was in the on, uh, lock screen and now she's opened it up. I have the ability to do a number of things. I can go ahead and I can lock all of the iPads in my classroom and that will display an iPad has been locked by their teacher. I can go ahead and unlock all the iPads, and that means that um, students are able to use it again. I can go ahead and choose just a selection uh, of an individual student, or in this case, uh, I can see that five of my students are using the iPads and uh, turned on, and I can go ahead and use the open tool to open up a app. So let's say, for example, I want them to be able to uh, immediately all go to the Seesaw class app, uh, it will go ahead and open it up and waiting for them to unlock their iPads. And we can see that um, uh, we're waiting for it to finish opening up all the iPads, including George, who's just opened up his device. And on the student screen, they'll see uh, Seesaw is open up on all of their iPads. Uh, it will also allow me to open up Seesaw right from this uh, screen as well. Um, and then finally, um, if students are uh, playing a video that has sound, I can mute all of their um, iPads. Um, I can um, have the ability to see what's on their screen. So here's uh, everything that we're seeing on their screen. And then if, for example, they moved out of the screen, I can see that they've moved into, uh, in this case, we can see that. Uh, one of the students has opened up Safari, and that would be Ethan. So this gives us a lot of abilities to be able to see what students are doing in real time, and if at any time I'm uh, ready for them to stop using their iPads, I can either use the lock button, or if we're all done and they haven't logged out themselves, I can go ahead and log them out. That's, uh, that's all there is to it with Apple Classroom. It's a very powerful tool for being able to help guide and facilitate uh, instruction for students who may be uh, using an iPad for the first time.